Welcome back guys to Kids Coming Play right here. Today we'll be doing another tutorial on blocks. So in our last video for motion blocks, someone told us to make a looks block video. So here we are making a looks block video. So I'm gonna explain a little bit about each block and tell you guys how to use them. So without further ado, let's continue on to the project. So first we have the say hello or anything you can put here for two seconds. So this one's really self-explanatory. It's just basically when you put it, you click it right, it just says hello for two seconds. You can change the values for the hello, the saying, what's it say, and for how long. And this is just saying hello. This is no time limit. It's just going to say hello. Yeah, it's not going to disappear. Same with this one. Think. This is the same thing as hello, except it's thinking for two seconds. And this is the thinking without time. So it's just going to say think. Hmm. But you can change the values as well for those two. Here we have the costume. So you can switch the costume to two. So here inside this scratch cat, as you can see, there are two costumes. It looks like it's running. So we can click this. As you can see, it changes the costume. So you can also change it back to the first one. You can change costume back to the first one. So basically, if you want to make your games better um, by making costumes, you can use this block to make your game look like uh, more alive so like you know we can make a character switch costume to make it look like it's walking like the scratch cat okay and then next we have the next costume block so this is like if um let's say you don't have to switch a specific costume like a running animation or something you don't have to like keep switch to the second one because there's only two costumes you can just use next costume so if you, so for the scratch cat um if since it wouldn't be as complicated if you use this block as to the other switch costume block, because all you have to do is just when green fly clicked, you can just put it forever, right? So now when you click, as you can see, it just switches it. But like for this one, since there is only two costumes and it's only for running, you do not need to do that. So next costume is just for like uh, running animation, stuff like that. It's perfect for that stuff. And then switch backdrop. So let's import a backdrop. So let's import this one doesn't really matter so you switch the backdrop one right so right here if you switch the backdrop so here we have arctic right so you'll switch to the arctic backdrop this one's also self-explanatory so like that when you move off the screen in some game maybe you want to switch the backdrop um or if you're doing an animation you want to switch the backdrop because the characters are moving to a different place this is the block for that and then next we have the next backdrop. This is the same thing as next costume. If you don't want to like switch the specific backdrop, you can use the next backdrop button. So, so you can click. As you can see, it just switches to the next backdrop. You don't need to use the switch one. And then next we have the change size. So this one's like self-explanatory too. So all you do is just click it. It'll change the size of the cat, as you can see. And you can put negative 10 if you want to make it smaller. So you can change the size. So. Here, this is just a change of size, so let's say you want to make something pop up, make it look like it's going towards you, then you can use the change size. Or maybe you want to shrink something, you can use the change size effect as well. And let's say um, you want to go back costume. So you know how the next costume it just switches costumes, but what if you want to go back one costume instead of, uh, instead of like making a specific costume, you just want to go back one because you know that's the costume you want to be on. So let's say you're on this costume, right? So to make it go back costume, you just do a switch costume, use a subtraction. So you can do that, and then you get the costume number, uh, subtract by one. So it'll go like this. As you can see, it's going back to its original form. And basically this is just the next costume one, except you wanna go backwards, you use this one. And then next we have the color effect. Um, and the change set size, I forgot about this one. This is just to set the size of the cat to a certain thing in the beginning. So maybe set 500 size, then it'll be that big. And or if you set it 50, then it'll be smaller. So this is just to set the size of the cat however you want, or your sprite. And here we have the change effect. So we have the color, right? It changed the color of the cat. And then right here we have the fish eye. This is just like turn it like like big in the middle, like a fish eye. And then right here we have the whirl. This is just like whirl, yeah, as you can see. So this is just to make, add some effect into your games and projects. Pixelate, here just pixelates it. Yeah, like that. Mosaic, this is just to make duplicates of it, like a lot of them. 
and then brightness this is just to change the brightness of it so it becomes more bright when you click it and then we have a ghost it just makes it ghost away and hide so uh, you can just select the different ones and you can also change the effect by different value so if you want to change by negative it will come back to normal if you're in the ghost and then maybe you want to ghost it to 100% to make it hide completely you can change the value as well you can do the same thing with everything else uh, we usually don't use any of these that much the, the ones I use the most is the color and ghost effect um, and then here we have clear graphic effects and set the color so set color what this does is you can set the thing to the effect any of these effects to a certain thing so you want to set the color effect to 100 then click it well first we have to clear the graphic effects you set the to 100 as you can see it can just set a color effect or any of these effects to a certain value so you don't have to like keep on changing it so you can set it to wherever you want here we have the clear graphic effects so you see it's blue right so you just click the clear graphic effects to make it back to normal and then we have the show and hide these are arguably the most used looks blocks um, so for show so hide is just to hide the character and show is to show it so in many games in almost every project I do, I think I need to use the hide and show button uh, blocks because um, let's say you start the game, right? Uh, you want to hide a certain, like maybe the start button, you want to hide that, right? So you'll hide it, but in the beginning you want to show it. So you'll need to use the hide and show to make your game look much better. So you don't want the play button showing up while you're in playing the game. Next, you have to go to the front layer. You can make it go to the back as well. So go to front layer is going to be the front layer so it just goes to the front it overlaps anything else behind it and then go to back layer is just going to the back so we'll need some layers to show how that works so let's just duplicate our scratch cat so inside our sprite one we'll just put it on top of here so go to back layer as you can see it will go behind the other scratch cat and then go to front layer it will go in front of the other scratch cat and then next we have the go forward or backwards a certain amount of layers I shouldn't have deleted that. Uh, I think I can restore it. Yeah, so you can just restore the sprite. So here is the same thing pretty much, unless you want to set it to a certain amount of layers. So go forward one layer. It's basically just go forward one layer. And then for go backwards one layer, that's go backwards one layer. And you can, if you have even more layers, you can change the value of the amount of layers. So then it will go to the certain place you want it to be, the certain layer. And then here we have the costume number. So this is just the number for the costume. As you can see, costume number one is costume one. Costume number two is costume two. So earlier when I showed you guys how to go back a costume, we use the costume number to check. Uh, so you use the costume number minus one. So two minus one would be one. So you'll go back one costume. And then here we have the backdrop number. This is the same thing, except for the backdrop. You see we have one and two. So backdrop one is right here. Backdrop two is here. So It'd be the same thing if you want to go back a backdrop, you'd switch the backdrop by the subtraction. Switch the backdrop to subtract the backdrop number minus one. So you would go back one backdrop. So there you go. And finally, we have one last block, and that's the size. So the size, this is the size of the cat. So like basically, um, in some, like, like in like if you're gonna make a button pop up or something, you're gonna need to use the size um, to make it like pop up. So the size is just like the size of the cat. So maybe you can do uh, you can do the size plus maybe a hundred. So that'd be two hundred size. So it will increase. So you see, it'll uh, size plus two hundred. I'll set the size to two hundred right there. So what you can do is just do set size, put that in here, click that. As you can see, the cat is now 200 size. All right, so that's all the uh, looks block. So that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed watching this video. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.